So Darcy's Corner again, <laughs> April 8th, 2024. I realize I'm making a lot of these lately, but I'm going through a lot and I use this as a reflective tool. Also, I got nothing else to do at the moment because I don't have a job yet. But I have been applying to lots of jobs. And I've gotten uh, a couple uh, interview requests, one in Red Deer and one in Edmonton. Now, if I have the choice between the jobs, I'd probably pick the one in Edmonton. But it really depends because in both cases, they're probably going to have me working out of town a lot. Hopefully they will anyway because that's where the money is. The money is when they put you in a hotel and give you live-out allowance or preferably they put you in some place where they feed you. Um, either one is great. So, you know, that's where the money is. And things are starting to pick up. The one in Red Deer was telling me, well, we're probably not really going to be doing a whole lot until May. Which makes me think, and it was an asphalt paving company in Red Deer. Well, I got an interview with an asphalt paving company in Leduc, and they told me they were going to hire me. I said, we'll call you in two days, and then, like, you know, it took me a couple of weeks to get a hold of the guy, and they like, well, we just don't need anybody yet, and, or we haven't got room for you yet, but, well, you know, I'm on a list. So, that doesn't mean I'll get a phone call from them. But, if the guys in Red Deer are going to pick up in May, well, the guys in Leduc will probably pick up in May, too. Uh, as I drive around Edmonton time to time in the Duke and whatever I see uh, crews happening I see lots of road signs going up and things and for the last job I worked for I put up road signs that was mostly what I did put up road signs and cleaned up things and set up cones and general labor moved stuff around but I also ran machines I ran rollers and things uh, it's called a pad foot. Looks like a giant potato masher. Anyway, that's the stuff I ran at the last company I was at. But if I can run that stuff, I can run skid steers and telehandlers, and I can probably also run loaders. And I don't know what else they need me to run, but, like, it's not rocket science. You just kind of push forward and steer, you know. So if you can drive a car, <laughs> you can kind of do those jobs. Uh, so, you know, things are going to pick up. I have put my feelers out, and I'm reasonably certain that by May I'll be working. If I can make it to May, <laughs> uh, I'm having trouble with my EI because it got stopped, and it's being restarted, but, like, that could take a few days or a couple of weeks. I don't know. Meantime, my credit cards are kind of stressed out. My line of credit's not looking so good. And, you know, life is kicking me in the butt right now. My, I had a roommate, and I was going to let her stay. But then it became very apparent that she was just playing games. And every time it came to, you got to pay money now, she would just say, oh, my boyfriend. And then, like, act like that was okay. And it was, oh, my boyfriend. And then suddenly my dog was, like, in danger. I'm like, well... You've uh, you've now pushed the limits, so unless something's going to change here real quick, you can leave because I don't think you ever intended to give me any money, and I don't I don't think she did. She's like, well, you said I could stay here for free. I said I said no. We I said we'd do a trial run for a couple of weeks for free, and you know I didn't say you could stay here for free. If you want to stay here for the month, it's six hundred dollars. So she had a problem with that, which is really unfortunate. Uh, also, it's unfortunate because I had a guy lined up from Morocco to come here, but he was only going to pay me for half the month. She was going to pay me for the whole month. That's why I chose her. And plus, he had a problem with me being trans. So that was going to be an issue. But I now have two or three people, one lined up for tonight, another one for tomorrow night, to come take a look at the place who want the room. So hopefully one of them takes it, and that will alleviate that burden on me. <laughs> and then... You know, as long as we can get along and they don't mind the dog, then we'll be fine. Um, and then on top of that, you know, I got these, these jobs that are coming up. It's just getting to them, right? But if I start working in May, last year I didn't stop working until November. So that's six months of work. 
of making five or six, whatever, hopefully more, thousand dollars a month. And then I can start like making things right because I owe money everywhere. Um, but then I can start like setting myself up to be self-sustaining. Uh, last year I only got three, four months in of work. So it got things cut up, but not ahead. And then uh, <laughs> my roommate left and now the well is dry. I try to set myself up for success, but like, I keep misstepping all the time. And I keep, um, my personal relationships are always crap. A lot of people hate me, <laughs> and it's because I've inspired that in them. <sighs> I really am trying. I really am tired. I really am feeling beat up. But... And then I'll have people call me and ask me stupid questions like, well, why didn't you do this job or that job? I did those jobs. <laughs> I've done several jobs here locally at the couple of different mills here. And they just didn't last. And it's because of my personality conflicts with people. But also because of my... Whatever this is up here, this ADHD, dyslexia, something else is there too. I don't think I'm autistic, but there's there's another alphabet in there somewhere that's screwing me up on a regular basis. So I just, I have trouble finding a place where I fit. And I'd love to create my own space where I fit. But I want to do that with the bees and they just keep dying, so, you know. Life is uh, life isn't easy for any of us, <laughs> and some of us have more challenges than others. 